Hello everybody, how are you? Good morning, God bless you, I love you, Jesus loves you. And uh, I wanted to make another video today. I And pray for me. <laughs> it's getting harder to figure out what to make uh, to feed the homeless. I think I'm going to switch classes. These are my emergency ones. So let's start off with a prayer. I want to make a short video. Heavenly Father, I love you and I thank you, Lord God, for who you are. I speak life into those watching, Lord God. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you move through me, speak through me, Lord. I just love you and I, I, I just I just I just love having a relationship with you. I pray that you embrace me, Lord God, and you embrace those watching. Holy Spirit, fill me up right now. Fill me up. And I know you're in me, but fill me up fully with your presence. With your presence. Make your presence known and triple it, Lord. Triple it, Papa. Thank you, Holy Oh yes, thank you. I speak life over those watching, and and Lord, I, I pray that they understand today's teaching, and I pray that I do it right. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Father. Everybody who has their hands up, I release heaven on you right now in Jesus' name. Angels, touch them right now in Jesus' name. Fill them up. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Papa. Jesus name life amen <coughs> so I gotta tell you that uh, I don't base all what I learn I mean God's words everything but this this NLT Bible um, new believers New Living Translation by uh, Tyndale. First steps for new Christians. And in the back it has the uh, uh, Greg Laurie thing. I got it at the secondhand store for a dollar, I, I believe. And, uh, it's it's just when I when I read this, it has a lot of little teachings in it. So when I read this, and I and I like what I read. Then I go to the NIV or the ESV and, and then do it again. Okay, so I'm encouraging you to do that. But I'm going to read from the NLT right now. And there's these little things that they put in it called little cornerstones. It's called uh, first steps. There's another one right here. But this one it says, recognize Satan's strategies. Read 1 Timothy 4, 1 to 2. So let's do that. In uh, 1 Timothy 4, 1 to 2, it says, Warning against false teachers. Now the Holy Spirit tells us clearly that in the last time, some will turn away from the true faith. They will follow deceptive spirits and teachings that come from demons. These people are hypocrites and liars, and their consciences are dead or seared because there's a star so there's another word for the word dead okay so I'll read that again warning against false teachers now the Holy Spirit tells us clearly that in the last times some will turn away from the true faith they will follow deceptive spirits and teachings that come from demons these people are hypocrites and liars and their consciences are dead or seared amen Okay, now, so let's read what this cornerstone thing has to say. It says, we must be on our guard against Satan's clever counterfeits. Because as this passage tells us, he will be at work in the last days. Which we are in now, the last days. In fact, we are warned that some in the church will fall prey to these aberrant ideas and teachings. Therefore, as you listen to various teachers and pastors today, remember this. Any so-called gospel that distorts the message of Jesus as found in the Bible by adding to it or taking away from it. Remember this. Any so-called gospel that offers Christianity without Christ or the cross Remember this, any so-called gospel that promises forgiveness without repentance. Remember this, any so 
called gospel that presents the hope of heaven without the reality of hell is not the gospel but a watered down version that will give you false assurance such as teachings are extremely such teachings are extremely hazardous to your spiritual health stay away from them at all cost so I wanted to keep this video short so ooh. so basically that was a good word right there when you open your Bible you should see your reflection because Jesus showed us how to walk so you should be walking like Jesus did okay now that's new creation Okay, new creation is today. It's for today. Okay, that's new covenant. Christ in us, the hope of glory. God fully equips us when we, when we, when we submit, when we do His will, when we pick up the cross. We're fully equipped. The Holy Spirit, the same Spirit that created heaven, that created earth, that made everything. lives in me and lives in you now if you're not born again that doesn't mean you don't have the spirit of God in you it's, it's in you the Holy Spirit's a gentleman just waiting for you to start being what you were born and created to be so give up what you were not born and created to be amen I love you Jesus loves you Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord God, for who you are. I speak life into those watching, Lord God. I speak boldness over them. Every stronghold, every bondage must go. Now go in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I command you, enemy, get off of them, get out of them, and never to return. Get out of their life, get out of their home right now in Jesus' name. I speak the blood of Jesus over you. Heaven right now. Surround them, embrace them in Jesus' name. God bless you. Amen.